you can't compare to a large degree a progression character to a character like Superman who already has a bunch of power. It's just really a matter of him using it. And in this scenario, there is no Superman holding back. There is no Lois. There's none of these other factors. There's no Superman being conflicted by his emotions. He just wants to kill his opponent. That's it. Superman is always dangerous, but if you take out the rules, you take away him caring, and he just has death on his mind, what are you going to do unless you can just blink him out of existence? But then again, if you're going to use a character like that, then we can entertain Superman Prime or Cosmic Armored Superman. There is a version of Superman out there for every character in terms of who he has to fight. The Hulk is awesome. I love the Hulk. But the Hulk is not going to beat Superman. He can knock him out. He could hurt him. But when you're talking about killing him, he's not on that power level. And again, let's say that Hulk builds up to where Superman is at the start of the fight. Superman can just get infinitely stronger because he already has that. Superman is not going to allow the Hulk the luxury of getting angrier and angrier and angrier and building up to this and building up to that when Superman could just take him out right from the jump as soon as he sees him. With any number of attacks, Superman would just rip the Hulk apart before he could even get to whatever he is. Superman has to be written a certain way because otherwise his character to a large degree, won't work. You have to... And, and again, this is not a comic book series. This is not a show or a movie where you want it to be entertaining so you drag it out, Superman hurting Hulk, Hulk hurting Superman. This is just a discussion about a fight to the death. Both characters taking this seriously, and that's all they want. Superman wants to kill Hulk. Hulk wants to kill Superman. I don't want to see Superman when he don't give a fuck. Because when he doesn't, that means everything and everyone is dead. Because then he will unleash all of his power with every single attack. And you think the Hulk walking and destroying a content and, and destroying an entire planet with, with one punch and all that stuff is impressive? That will be nothing in comparison to what Superman does when he doesn't give a fuck. You know, Superman just doing shit and... and I, I'm like, Superman's character is so hacked that you have to put him with DC characters. Hacked deserves hacked. So yeah, Superman is beating the Hulk. You're talking about a fight to the death? Now, if you're talking about a casual encounter, I can see Hulk knocking Superman out. You know, if you're talking about in a storyline where Superman holds back and he's just in that sort of a vein of storytelling, I can absolutely see the Hulk knocking Superman out. But again, that's because that's the nature of Superman's character. When he's not, when you're not putting him in this whole fight to the death, Superman has to kill this person. He wants to kill this person. When you're talking about just regular Superman, away from this sort of conversation and scenario, then sure, Hulk can definitely knock out and hurt Superman. Because Superman would try to reason with Hulk and stuff like that, which will lead to him getting fucked up. And then he'll have to decide, okay, I need to put the Hulk down and, and finish him off from there. But in that sort of scenario, the Hulk is going to be fucking Superman up in, in the meantime until Superman gets his shit together. Superman does not need to send the Hulk away. Like how you have with Marvel characters, he doesn't need to send him away. He can deal with him on a physical level. Those Marvel characters didn't have anyone around to deal with the Hulk's power. But Superman can handle that. This is part two of this discussion, which means there's a part one. I hope that you watched uh, part one before you got into this one, so that way you can get the complete conversation. And I appreciate you being here. Like, if you watched part one, now you're on part two. And if you just happen to click on part two and didn't realize it until I said it, go back and watch part one. Um, when you are talking to individuals about this person versus that person, 
Nowadays, you'll have a lot of humans putting Marvel characters over DC characters just because they like them better. And that's being biased. And I don't like to do that. I like to be fair when I'm critiquing and talking about anything. Regardless of who or what I like more, I like to be fair with my opinion. So that way it is respected more. Because you often will get humans that don't know shit about the characters they're talking about. Or they know more about one character than the other. Or maybe they just like a character better than another character. So no matter what, that character just wins. There are scenarios where the Hulk could knock out and hurt Superman under certain storytelling. Absolutely. But again, for the sake of this conversation, it is a fight to the death. Superman does not care. He's not holding back. He just wants to kill the Hulk. In that situation, Superman's going to win. There has to be something story-wise in place to give Hulk a chance against Superman. They have to make Superman try to reason with him and hold back like he normally does. That's what makes Superman terrifying. Because you're literally talking about a character that can do so much, but he constantly holds himself back. Whether it be that he doesn't want to hurt someone. In some cases, you're talking about a brief moment where he has a lack of confidence. No matter what it is, there are different things as to why Superman holds back, depending on the nature of the storytelling. But you know, the Hulk, if he coming at you, you can't really reason with him. You better do something, otherwise he about to fuck your ass up. Because Hulk, man, when he do them punches and stumps and smashes and shit, it's going to hurt. Superman going to be coughing up a little blood, but again, why I got to get to that? So you can let me know in the comment section, you know, which character you like better and you know, who you think would win, but um, based on my knowledge of both Hulk and Superman, Superman is much more of a broken character because he already has everything he needs. You don't even need Superman Prime or Cosmic Armored Superman, Strange Wizard of Superman, this Superman, that Superman. You don't need none of that. You just need Superman, and that's already too much. So that's why, again, he's written a certain way in DC Comics and around other characters that are hacked. Love Superman, love Hulk. At the end of the day, these characters don't exist, so you can think and feel how you want. This is just my viewpoint on it, so I appreciate you being here. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. If you like these Versus videos, there is a playlist on this channel called Versus where... You have ones where I have full discussions and then you have ones where, you know, I put together certain scenes in regards to the characters involved uh, for the verses. And then from there, um, the person watches it and then they vote down in the comment section who has the better scene or who they think will win in a fight. You know, just different ways to do the whole versus videos. And uh, if you're into that, there's a playlist for you. There's a bunch of videos in there and you can go ahead and check it out. And um, it is all, it's always interesting to put, you know, characters and things up against one another just for the sake of discussion. And uh, I enjoyed this this discussion about Superman versus Hulk. I mean, I've been having this discussion for like the last 17 years of my life. And uh, it's been interesting each time. You know, I love Marvel and DC. I do love DC more. But I do love me some Marvel. And Hulk is one of my favorite Marvel characters. Like I like Hulk man. He's the big green guy. He gets mad and he just fucks your shit up. You know it's it's difficult to dislike the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? And Superman is just. He's great in general. If you are someone that can really appreciate him. I always say there's a Superman story for everybody. Even for the humans that don't like Superman. There's always a comic book. A certain story arc. An animated movie or something that they can get into. So yeah, until next time, Terrence out.